Arts Talk Day on Wednesday. But again, we're not ending the conversation there. We're talking about art therapy today with Kayla Huzar, a registered social worker. Now, Kayla, tell me a little bit about uh, where we are and what uh, art therapy is. So we are here at the Hive Wellness Studio, and that's the studio that I've started. Um, half of it is art therapy. The other half is supporting other mompreneurs in the city to provide space and chairs for their groups and events. And I am a expressive arts facilitator and so what that means is I facilitate art therapy as a way to therapeutically intervene for people who are struggling with anxiety and depression. My main uh, population is mums, women um, of any age. I say once postpartum, always postpartum. Absolutely. Now, we did do a little bit of art therapy yesterday when we were talking about Mommy Connections and Mommy Wellness, uh, but I want to talk a little bit more about the benefits today. Let's really get into that uh, this morning, but again, what are the benefits? The benefits are that the art therapy provides the words that you may not have, and so whether that's through music, writing, visual art, movement, dance, uh, drama, all of those things are an expression of self, and often it's a subconscious message that we don't even realize that's happening, a dialogue inside of our head. Absolutely. Now, we are going to get into some art therapy techniques today, but I wanted to get into really quickly, if someone is feeling a little bit of anxiety, uh, what is an exercise they can really do in the moment? One, pick up one color. It could be a pen, a paintbrush, a pastel, a highlighter, whatever you have, and just scribble and make marks on a piece of paper and just try to see what that might mean for you in life. Absolutely. So again, like I said, we are going to get into a little bit more of the techniques and different ways uh, to kind of get into art therapy. Uh, and uh, when we come back, uh, we'll, we'll check some things out. Back to you guys. All right, let's check in with Jaden Lee Lincoln. She's learning about art therapy. And Jaden, can you explain what exactly that is? Yeah, absolutely, Britt. It's just another way uh, to kind of help with our mental wellness. Uh, it was Bella's Talk Day on the 29th, and we're continuing that conversation. Now, Chantelle Bessonette, you are actually uh, a client. Uh, you've used art therapy. How has it helped you? It has helped me through numerous aspects in my life um, after both babies, um, but mostly during my second as I was diagnosed with a cancer diagnosis. And so it has really helped me through the anxiety of raising a second little baby as well as getting through my treatments. Absolutely. That's a very touching story now. Uh, tell me some of the exercises that you kind of d did to help you through uh, some tough times. So luckily I got to follow one of Kayla's classes, which is Flourish Motherhood. And it was fantastic as she introduced me to my treatments. Absolutely. That's a very touching story now. Uh, tell me some of the exercises that you kind of d did to help you through uh, some tough times. So luckily I got to follow one of Kayla's classes, which is Flourish Motherhood. And it was fantastic as she introduced me to a playlist art therapy kind of. And so I was able to create playlist according to the way I was feeling. So, you know, I kind of have one for, you know, a morning meditation, one to kind of just perk me up, et cetera, et cetera. Absolutely. Now, Kayla, uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, this technique, this uh, therapy technique. So studies have proven that 20 minutes of intentional music listening can decrease depression and anxiety in anyone for any type of music. Um, it's The intentional part is that it has to be music that you enjoy. It has to be music that's going to evoke that feeling of feeling great, feeling good. You can imagine yourself better. Um, and so it's just 20 minutes of music listening. Yeah. Do we have any music right now that we can maybe play? Do we? <laughs> uh, so again, you said listening to that music. Now, when you've done this exercise, Chantel, uh, what kind of are you thinking in that moment? What are you feeling? So, you know, sometimes I've had um, emotions of extreme anxiety to extreme happiness or even just sadness where I've just kind of needed to change my mind frame. And so I just get my playlist going and same thing, you know, even after 10 minutes, I mean, you feel fantastic. This is a great song. We're going to listen to this song and get into our feels a little bit and, and check back in in a little bit. Let's check in now again with our on the go reporter, Jaden Lee Lincoln. She's learning all about another way to take care of your mental health through art therapy. Jaden, how's it going? Good morning, Jess. Well, we heard Chantel's very touching story about how uh, art therapy has helped her. Now we're going to hear from Leah Sharp. Uh, Leah, how has art therapy helped you? 
Uh, you know, I came to see Kayla about four months or a month ago, a few months ago, and four months ago I went back to work after maternity leave and I was really missing my little guy. I was feeling anxious and sad and frustrated and I wasn't myself at work or at home. So I came to see Kayla. We talked through what those feelings were, did some creative activities to sort of underline that process, and I came up with a really good plan to move forward and just felt so much better and loving life at work, loving life at home. It's been really great. What kind of activities did you do? You know, we, we did a lot of, you know, talking first through what those feelings were, thinking about what my vision or plan was to be, you know, to move forward, and then actually just really dry, dry, drawing it out or creating it in any way that felt real to me. And, and a lot of those things then became sort of visual reminders of my plan and my roadmap, so it was great. Awesome. Thank you, Leah. Now, Kayla, we're going to go through one of those exercises right now. Walk us through uh, what we have and what we're doing. Sure. So in front of you, you've got paper, a black paper, which is very cool to do uh, pastel art on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to visualize six feelings really quickly um, and choose a color for each feeling and then draw, make marks, uh, sketch, scribble, whatever. So um, sadness. Joy, anger, fear, your love for others, hmm. and your love for self. And the distinction with love for others as comparison to love for self is that we're often just hardwired to, to love other people more than we are ourselves. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kayla. We're going to keep up this exercise and check back in in a little bit. All right. Time to see what Jaden Lee Lincoln is up to this time because she's been learning about art therapy all morning long. Jaden, you've been drawing. What's next? Are you bringing me back your masterpiece? I definitely am, and we're going to hang it in the walls at this studio. Uh, so we're actually going to be doing a little bit of painting, but I wanted to show you my artwork here. Kayla, who's our, so you got us to do this drawing exercise. Uh, at the end of this, what does this kind of represent? What does it mean? So for everyone to identify their feelings in shape and color, it just gives it more definition. It just solidifies that feeling. It might unearth a little bit of a message that you didn't know was there about your fear, your sadness, anger. Yeah. So I have a bunch of squiggly lines and a little bit of circles. Uh, very interesting, but I do want to get into another exercise here. We have some paint out. Uh, tell me a little bit about what we're going to be doing right now, and let's get into it. Sure. So this is an intuitive painting process, and so what I'm going to get you to do is just pick a color, start making marks on the paper. Mm -hmm. When you decide, pick another color, make some marks on the paper. Ooh, I love pink. Like, I'm such a girly girl, so I'm definitely going to be using some pink. And for some reason today, I'm, like, super feeling these, like, wavy things. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Is, is there <laughs> in, in art therapy, in expressive arts therapy, what I'm trained in, um, we don't judge or try to speculate on your image. Okay. We get you to a place where you can maybe identify what the squiggly my, lines might mean or what the colors mean, the intensity of the color. Um, there's a lot of variation to um, what could be communicated through this image. Now, people who are thinking of tra trying art therapy, where should they start? They can start, you know what, there's, there's a lot of really great online resources for um, art therapy, e-courses and things like that. Um, however, I would say that it's best experience in person with a professional who can help you, guide you through the process. Um, and there are many, many um, different resources that you can find. In the city here, there's a few art therapists that um, do very similar work to what I'm doing. And um, you can just start with a Google search. Awesome. This is what I have so far I'm going to continue to keep painting and then we're going to check back in one more time in a little bit. Uh, this is kind of the finished product of what I did in our last segment about uh, paint and I said I really liked pink and purples but as I picked up the paintbrush I was really feeling these blues. Now Kayla uh, tell me a little bit about what we're going to be doing next. So next I have what's called a uh, blackout poetry exercise mm -hmm. and it is an exercise where you black out all of the words on an old book page and mm -hmm. leave all of the words that resonate. So you black out the words that don't, you leave the words that do they don't have to make sense and actually often it turns out to be a pretty amazing poem 
And what kind of exercise, when you do this, uh, what are you hoping people get out of it? I'm hoping that they see a message um, in the words that they've left that they mm -hmm. maybe didn't even realize those words were inside of them. I was doing this with a group of moms one time and the page that the particular mom happened to get, she actually left the word tired in there three times. Wow. And so she was like, I think I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. people who want to try out art therapy, uh, how can they go about doing so and, and what are you hoping people gain from doing it? What my main goal for people in expressive arts therapy is that they put words to their feelings and when they put words to their feelings, they're better able to describe that to other people in order to get their needs met. And uh, how do people kind of come out feeling at the end of an exercise like this? They feel heard um, and seen in a way that maybe they've never been seen or validated before in the sense that the art is providing them that validation and that witness as opposed to relying on somebody to say, I hear you, I validate you, which has its absolute value. Mm -hmm. But in this way, it's the art that's giving you that value. And in essence, you are validating yourself. Okay, so I've done about half a page here. Um, what I have right now is, Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me one more month to live. Then I have right